you ha- it has to be seen to, to be believed. Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama. Yeah, the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. Act- <laughs> some say something good person, some say bad person, that doesn't matter. Sort of my own motivation for thinking is honest, sincere. That's, that's important. We are saying human brothers, sisters. We want to donate. Uh, although some paper already there. Uh, donate to uh, Save Children Fund. One reason. Firstly, in the 60s, when Tibetan refugee community really facing tremendous difficulties, also is a big difference of climate condition. At that time, Save the Children Fund came to help us for Tibetan children. And then recently, when you see this award uh, announced around that period, I also heard through BBC the uh, Save the Children Fund worldwide towards the movement. And then I felt our real hope on the shoulder of younger generation. They described me as a demon. You're a demon? No. Yeah. Then I immediately reacted, yes, I'm a demon with horn. Yeah, because that's the classic demon, uh, right? Yes. I think that's when they look at you, that's what they see. Well, whatever they want to say, that's their freedom. I have no no negative feeling. I just feel uh, a laugh like that. I practice, you see, taking others' anger, suspicion, distrust, and give them patience, uh, tolerance, and compassion. You ha- it has to be seen to, be- to be believed. Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama. Yeah, the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. Act- <laughs> don't take it offensively, but if somebody accuses your godfather or your religious leaders about such things that the words they are using, pedophile, we don't have that word in our society because it doesn't happen in our society. Or maybe if it happens, even if it happens, it's not common. So we don't have that word. That you are saying, oh, he stick his tongue out and asks a child to suck it. Now, understand first where it started. The child asks, can I hug you? Which is for us. It's unbelievable for us. We can never do it. I cannot do it, it even in my wildest dream. You know why? Because I look at him as an idol. He's a child, innocent, doesn't know, so he wants to hug him, which is fine. Dalai Lama, he said, okay, you can hug me and end the story, right? You know what he said? Of course you can hug me. You can hug me. You can kiss me. You can even suck my tongue. That is not set under behind the closed doors, okay? It was set in front of thousands of people, which was telecasted worldwide. But there are many people that you are talking in news channels about uh, how a child is uh, molested. Look, if you are worried about children, Tibet in Tibet, children are being snatched away from their parents and put in residential schools. That happened in the history, you all know. It is happening even today. Stop being a hypocrite and talk about that. If you are worried about child predators, talk about that. If you have met His Solace Dalai Lama, having worked with him for 10 years, I've been with him in many public events. He is one playful person. For example, if there is an Indian security person with a beard, he will pull his beard. If you have a moustache, he'll play with your moustache. Sometimes, you know, he, he will pull his moustache down, you know. I'm sure that person has spent many minutes, you know, keeping it up. He plays his, uh, pulls it down. And if you have a big head, he'll point your head and say, big head, big head, you know. So if you have a big nose, he was a big nose, big nose. And he goes close and gives the New Zealand Maori greeting, you know, of touching each other's nose. So he's like that all the time playing. And if you are bald, that's it. He'll rub your head and give you one spank. It is sometimes quite hard. My security uh, colleague used to get quite a few spank uh, on his head because, you know, he, he was bald. His solemn is that I'm going to the White House, meeting the President of America. This can't be, you know, I mean, as serious and formal meeting as possible. He meets President Barack Obama. 
What does he do? He solemnly says to Obama, oh, you have big ear. He starts playing with his ear. And what does Obama say? Oh, you notice, you know. So in that very serious, highest level of meeting, he solemnly plays with people. So Tibetans know about it, right? Buddhists know about it. All the people around his solemnness know about it, that he is sincere. He is for us the Buddha of compassion, right? So I hope people around the world will understand through the stories because of my personal experience, right? And put it in a proper context whenever you talk about his solemnness, the Dalai Lama. And then the personal integrity of his holiness was never ever in question in the last 87 years. So how can people pass a judgment on one incident? And that too, not knowing the full sequence of the event. Uh, genuine manifestation of his holiness, compassion for all human beings, irrespective of their status in the society. And his holiness was also used to play pranks or engage in jovial interactions to amuse the gathering. The fact of the matter on that day was this program was held in a public place, the Tsuglakhang, just opposite to the residence of His Holiness the Dalai Lama on 28th of February. There were more than 120 college-going students, part of this M3M delegation, who asked to seek his audience. And uh, it was a public event that was covered by the media. And all these happened publicly, not everywhere. Energy. It's a really nice feeling meeting him and you get a lot of that positive energy. It's not just like that, but once you get the positive energy, I think you're happier and it's a better thing and you smile a lot more. It was a really good experience of all. I'm Dr. Payal Kanodia, trustee M3M Foundation. We've been working in Dharamshala on this uh, skill center which we started last year. And since then we were looking at seeking blessings from His Holiness. And you know, today we got this opportunity and especially when my family was there with me. And the, all the students who graduated from I Am Power Academy of Skills were also present. We're totally, totally blessed to have got these blessings from His Holiness. He came, addressed us in person, taught about peace that wo the world needs and how everyone needs to feel together like brother and sister. And I, I absolutely cannot, you know, express how I feel getting blessed by... <laughs>